What's up YouTube? It's Nethro JK here and I'm here with the better and revised version on how to make a craft bucket server. This is a lot easier than the other video. I believe that there were some errors in the other video, so let's get straight to work. Okay, so I'm gonna start by uh, creating a new folder on your desktop. For this video, I'm gonna call it server for YouTube setup. And uh you want to go ahead and open up that folder and you want to open up your internet browser and go to this website dl.bucket.org forward slash downloads craft bucket okay now um when you get here you're gonna see this page and you want to download like on the right side you're gonna see recommended build beta build and development build for the current version of minecraft that's out get like uh Okay, so right now Minecraft 1.4.2 is out. So if there's a recommended build for 1.4.2, which is the current version, get that. If not, get the beta. If there's no beta, get the development if there is one. Okay, so let's go ahead and download the beta since that's the best one that we can get right now. This isn't going to be a perfect one, but it's going to have a few bugs. So we're just going to have to do with it right now. And give it a second. Let me know it's going to download. And meanwhile, open up Notepad. And there's going to be uh, this code in the description. <coughs> uh, copy and paste this code into here. And uh, go to File, Save As, and call it like Start dot bat it can be whatever you want it to be called but this is what you're going to open up to open your server but the dot bat has to be at the end and right below that where it says save as type click all files so it doesn't save it as a text document and then i want to save mine to my desktop so i'm going to go ahead and save it and it's right here so i'm going to go ahead and drag this into my server folder and craft bucket has started to download and keep and give it a second to download and it is right here so now that I got that I'm going to paste that into my server folder and I'm going to rename it to craft bucket just like that okay so um the rest of the video will be how to port forward but basically this is how you open it so after you're done seeing the port forward part because that's a uh, separately recorded so to open it you just double click it and it will go ahead and start everything up if there's any problems put it uh, the, your problems in the comments and um here is the port forwarding part so now you would like to go to the start and uh, click type in cmd and open up your command prompt so when you get here you want to type ip config that is ip C O N F I G and hit enter. All this gibberish stuff will pop up. Um it's really we don't really need to do anything with most of this. It's just part of it. Okay, so um we wanna write down your IPv4 address and your default gateway. Meanwhile, I'm gonna reopen my internet and you're going to need the internet again for this next part. No. There. Yes. Good. Okay. So. Assuming you wrote that down already. You're going to want to type in your default gateway. This is going to be different for everyone. So. Don't copy what I'm typing in. And then hit enter. Okay, so you're going to get here and it's going to ask for uh, a username and password. 
Usually the username would be on um, like admin and the password. We usually be like admin or password or just n even no password sometimes. But since we reconfigured everything online, uh, my username is Jordan, and the password is a really long code. So uh, if you need help, like getting the default username and password, go to portforward.com. There will be a link to that in the description below. And then you just want to log in. And this page will look different for almost everyone. Unless you have the same router as me. Uh, I have a Cisco Link SE2000. And uh, when you get here, you want to look for something under the uh, lines of application and gaming. For me, that's on the t up to the top on the right. And uh, uh, then you want to look at your uh, IPv4 address, put in the last uh, numbers right here after the dot, like the, yeah, and then the last group of numbers, there's four groups of numbers in the last group, and you can call it, like, I call it Minecraft, because it's pretty simple. And, uh, and the external IP address, you want to make that the default gateway, which is 25565. And then the internal port, uh, 25565. And I leave this on both. So, now that we got that taken care of, we're going to go ahead and uh, save the settings. And your configurations have been saved. Please click continue. Okay, we are done using the internet so you can go ahead and now exit out of that and exit out of your command prompt okay so now you got all that port forwarding stuff out of the way you're going to need your IVP4 address one last time open up your server folder and type it in over here I'm not sure if mine was in that video but uh yeah, just type in your IVP4 address right where it says uh, server port, I mean server IP. Um, but since I'm now at my other house, I'm going to type in my IP for this house. And exit and save. And now you want to start up your magical server. And... As well, I'm going to open up Minecraft. Okay, so now here on Minecraft, I'm going to get multiplayer, add server, call whatever you want. For this, I'm going to call it a uh, sub YouTube. And I'm going to put in my IP address. You can find this by going to your internet browser and typing in, going to Google, typing in what's my IP and it will pop up you want to get your uh, public IP address for me that's 98.166.152.46 okay so that's what you're going to want to type in here and then if you really want to you can add in port which is 25565 I'm going to go ahead and save the server and join it Okay, so now that I've uh, joined, uh, you got a crappy spawn in the middle of the ocean. Um, here I am. Crappy world. It's pretty unfortunate for me if I was actually going to play on this, but why didn't show you a YouTube video? Um, so, basically, say that you want to get a different world you can uh, close down your server and ah crap yeah and you can drag the world file to the trash and there's like boom then restart your server and it's loading a new world so now you guys are like probably wondering how do how does the host change his game mode um 
It all starts when you have to do this. You have to, in the console, you gotta type OP space your player name. Like, for me, that would be, um, Nathria JK. And, um, now opt on the server. So, now I can basically change my game mode on the server. By type in slash game mode space zero for survival, one for creative, and two for adventure. Okay, so now you guys are probably wondering how to install plugins. I have another video on that that will not be covered in this video, and that's basically how you guys start up your Minecraft server. That's a craft bucket server. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like. Comment, rate, and subscribe for more content from Matthew JK and peace. Okay, so now you got all that port forwarding stuff out of the way. You're gonna need your IVP4 address one last time. Open up your server folder and type it in over here. I'm not sure if mine was in that video, but uh yeah, just type in your IVP4 address right where it says a uh, server port. I mean server IP. Um, but since I'm now at my other house, I'm going to type in my IP for this house. And exit. And save. And now you want to start up your magical server. And as well, I'm going to open up Minecraft. Okay, so now here on Minecraft, I'm going to get multiplayer. Add server, call whatever you want for this one, call it a uh, sub YouTube. And I'm gonna put in my IP address. You can find this by going to your internet browser and typing in, going to Google, typing in what's my IP, and it will pop up. You wanna get your uh, public IP address. For me, that's 98.166.152.46. Okay, so that's what you're going to want to type in here. And then if you really want to, you can add in port, which is 25565. I'm going to go ahead and save the server and join it. Okay, so now that I've uh, joined, uh, you got a crappy spawn in the middle of the ocean. Um, here I am. Crappy world. It's pretty unfortunate for me if I was actually going to play on this, but why well, didn't show you a YouTube video? Um, so, basically, say that you want to get a different world. You can, uh, close down your server, and, ah, crap. Yeah, and you can drag the world file to the trash. And it's like, boom. Then restart your server. And it's loading a new world. So, now you guys are like probably wondering, how, do, how does the host change his game mode? Um, it all starts when you have to do this. You have to, in the console, you gotta type OP space your player name. Like, for me, that would be, um, Nathria JK. And, um, now opt on the server. So, now I can basically change my game mode on the server. By type in slash game mode space zero for survival, one for creative, and two for adventure. Okay, so now you guys are probably wondering how to install plugins. I have another video on that that will not be covered in this video, and that's basically how you guys start up your Minecraft server. That's a craft bucket server. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, rate, and subscribe for more content from Matthew JK, and peace.